Hi, I'm Naomi Lloyd and I'm a journalist with XRO. I'm here in Fleet Street, the traditional home of journalism, and it's where XRO have just opened their offices. We look at things the mainstream media often misses or ignores, the kind of things that should be transparent but aren't. Since we launched last November, our articles have been picked up by national newspapers and broadcasters. And one investigation we did jointly with the BBC even resulted in an emergency debate in Parliament. Mark Watts is the editor-in-chief of XRO. He's a journalist, author and broadcaster with a strong track record of breaking agenda-setting investigative stories. He ran the investigation unit for Sunday Business and was a reporter on several national newspapers and TV current affairs programmes, including World in Action. XRO was set up at a time when the media industry faces a lot of questions about its future. Um, there are a lot of questions about whether it is spending much time doing original journalism. Uh, there are also big questions about the ethics of the industry. So we find ourselves uh, launching and beginning life at a critical time for the media industry. And a big part of what we do is gathering information that is essentially in the public domain or making use of the Freedom of Information Act. But often media organisations find they don't have the time to really scrutinise what's going on. So I think the timing is critical. So what makes XRO different to other news organisations out there? Well, increasingly, mainstream media outlets uh, are in the business of journalism, essentially rewriting wire copy, rewriting press releases, and can spend less and less time on original journalism. XRO is entirely about investigating original journalism, finding things out and revealing them to the public. XRO launched in November. What have been the highlights so far? Um, we've had some fantastic stories. The one that's had the biggest impact was the exposure of uh, special kind of contracts for senior civil servants that allowed them to minimise their tax. Uh, this was a story that the day after we broke it caused um, a lengthy parliamentary debate. Uh, it also caused an immediate Whitehall-wide review into the practice and we understand it's going to have some impact in the budget coming up soon. So who's XRO aimed at? Well, XRO is aimed at two key groups, really. It's, it's aimed at uh, the general consumer that's interested in real news, which might typically be uh, uh, described as people who are perhaps reading broadsheet newspapers. But more specifically, it's really aimed at uh, the city and business world uh, who are interested in finding out, as it were, uh, what government, in the broadest sense of that word, is up to. And if anyone has a story that they'd like XRO to investigate, how should they go about telling you? They obviously should contact us. We have a sort of tell us page uh, on the website, which has the basic contact details, uh, telephone, email and so on. And, and obviously we do prefer whistleblowers to come forward where, where they're happy to identify themselves to us, even if they want to keep their identities confidential uh, beyond us, as it were. But we also do have a facility, a Dropbox, a secure Dropbox, that people can send material to us while keeping their identities confidential from us, let alone anyone else. Finally, XRO's opened its offices in Fleet Street. Is that significant? Well, I suppose it is, because there's a sense in which um, you know, journalism has returned to Fleet Street. And what I suppose that also means is there's a sense in which um, we're doing real journalism as opposed to what uh, mainstream media seems to have become, which is uh, a, a, a several organisations that are just regurgitating wire copy and regurgitating press releases. XRO's philosophy is holding power to account, and that's what we've been doing since we launched in November. Our aim is to show that investigations which help ensure openness and transparency are also economically valuable. To stay up to date with all of our investigations, just go to our website. It's www.xronews.com and you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter.